Hello. If you type the word mangroves on Google, then you are most likely to come across images of a plant like this, or a place or region like this. And then the majority of those images or photos are actually taken in tropical or subtropical coastal regions, and a large majority of them refers to the plant in the genus of Rhizophora. Which is by far the most common and widespread types of mangroves out there, and those images, without a doubt, does fit into the textbook definition of mangroves, which refers to a woody tree or shrub that grows in tidal, tropical, coastal, shallow swamps, having a number of overlapping roots that protrude above the ground and form dense thickets. But a type of mangroves that is typically being overlooked is the boat cypresses, plants in the genus of Taxodium. This genus of plants consists of three species that is known to science. They include the typical true boat cypress, the Taxodium distichum, the Taxodium ascendens, the pond cypress, which has got Longer and more slender leaves, and the third species is the Taxodium mucronatum, also known as the Montezuma cypress. And all of them are large deciduous trees that can be found naturally growing in temporarily flooded swamplands, and they have got a wide, shallow root system that protrudes above the ground, forming knees and buttresses. Which helps them capture more oxygen required for growth and the typical metabolism. Well, the only fact that makes them not fit into the textbook definition of so-called mangroves is that, except for the species of Taxodium mucronatum, they don't grow in tropical areas. Now, here is a map showing you where the more common and typical species of Taxodium distichum is native to. As you can see, the common boat cypress is actually native to temperate regions, and they are also seasonally deciduous trees, just like a lot of other temperate tree species. Except for the growth habits that I've talked about earlier in this video, the ecological niches that the boat cypresses play is also very similar to that of the tropical mangroves. A lot of their seeds would typically germinate on coastal or inland mud or grass-based marshlands, and slowly transform them into shady wooded swamplands over decades of growth. The tropical mangroves would typically drop their seeds, fruits, or recently germinated seedlings into the water below, and let the water distribute them, take them to places far away. From the mother plant and form new wooded swamplands. Well, the taxodiums, the typical boat cypresses, would actually do a really similar things. They would drop their mature seed cones into the water below, and let the seed cone rot, and then release the seeds into the environment. This is how they spread their seeds and reproduce. Just like the mangrove swamps, which provides habitat for many other animals such as、uh, mudskippers, crabs, and migratory seabirds, boat cypress swamps also provide a wide variety of habitats for other animals. Their canopies would often provide nesting areas for seabirds such as ospreys, pelicans, storks, and ibises. Once the trees become mature enough, the branches would Become the habitat of other plants such as mosses, tillandsias, and orchids, and the roots would also become the habitat of juvenile crocodiles and salamanders. Just like the mangroves of the tropics, the boat cypresses constructed the environment of the woody swampland. Once they were removed, the large majority of swamp animals, including all the migratory seabirds, The reptiles like snakes and crocodiles, the amphibians, and most of the fishes would just disappear with them, which means they became really important for the ecosystem itself.、Mm, to sum up, the conclusion is that throughout history of life on Earth, 
Plants have convergently evolved into mangroves, so-called, multiple times independently of each other, resulting in really similar ecologies and growth habits. As a result, the bold cypresses are essentially the temperate deciduous mangroves. Once again, thank you for watching. If you liked the video you just saw, then please feel free to like it and share it.